Hello and welcome back to a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. Now, when I loaded this save up, I was very I, I had completely forgotten quite how bad the uh, borders were in this. Wow, they are really broken up. But that's not what we're going to be focusing on this time. We got two new custom courtiers. We got Brandon Wilson, a wildling who we picked up while um, we were off raiding somewhere up north. Maybe he's related to our other wildling in some way and he, was, he decided to join us. Um, to, uh, what is it? I forgot now the wildling's name for a second there. To wildling who we will remember. Oh, to Lindsay of the Stone, uh, Stone Crows, whose picture I still need to, to fix. Uh, yep. Um, but we also have Elios the Blind, who, uh, became blinded in a bar fight, has been kind of quiet, but has risen up again, um, after his friend Urus died, and he's, uh, you know, start trying to become a bigger part of the court once more. Right, now we've got the introductions out of the way, it's time to focus on um, what we're going to go on. Well, I think we're going to go on a reaving. Some people have suggested it and I think it's a good idea, I think it was something we were going to do. Also, some people have suggested that because we were um, in love with another person uh, in one of the events, that maybe we should break our betrothal. Here's my logic for not breaking the betrothal. We are selfish. My logic is what we would do, this is the way I'm seeing Dale. Maybe he is somebody who knows that he's in multiple, uh, like, knows that he's in love with someone else, but is also going to marry this person. But he's thinking, why can I not have both? The, the, it's his right. I think that would be the kind of way he's thinking. He's thinking, thinking he could just have both. And if someone confronts it about it, he'd be honest. He just doesn't care. He's also brave. He'd just face it. He'd uh, just face things when they came. So I think this is kind of um, an interesting character in, in Dale. You got a kind of mix, a lot of mix. Uh, we are going to go on a reaving. So, Dale, what do you want? Well, we could, we can actually can't take get married as one. Build a war chest. Uh, no, but this could actually, that does actually give us um, extra money for that we can potentially use. Um, gain our honorary title. Don't know. Exalted paragon of virtue. None of these really jump out at me. Maybe fall in love? Do we desire rom- I mean, we did have the love event. Maybe we desire romance and passion? Um... What are we going to choose here? Uh, carousing doesn't really seem like it's us. We are probably going to pick either diplomacy or martial based on our traits. Uh, family... Doesn't really seem- like, Neither of these seem quite right. War is something I would always say is like- yeah, that's reasonable. Like, we are an Ironborn, and hunting seems like something else we could do. Um, let's, let's go for hunting. That's a kind of reasonable focus. Yes. Um, yeah. Hunting. We'll take that. And we are going to go on a reaving. Um, at first, I'm just checking if we've got anything else. Sworn Shield. There's something we could do. We could, we've got another bodyguard position. Uh, we'll give it to our new... Courtier Brandon. There you go. You can have a bodyguard position. Cool. Um, right. Important decisions. Go on a reaving. Let's uh, go on a reaving. Cost us gold. Gives us piety and prestige. Cool. Just like our first reaving as an Ironborn. And we are of course going to go to the Disputed Lands. The closest place. That seems like the most sensible place for us to go. Disputed Lands. So we're not going to go too far away. We're going to go on a, a quick reaving and then we're going to come back. Right, we'll just let time move on. Game didn't crash instantly, which is great, because I didn't actually check before we uh, started up. This might be a little bit of a shorter episode as well, just to warn you. Um, it might just end abruptly. I might just say uh, thanks for watching, and that'll be it. But anyway, we gain the trait Reaving. We're also going with Ethan, our priest, Justin, one of our uh, courtiers, and Agor, our spymaster. Cool. Men are ready. The longship's prepared. Now we begin our journey across the narrow sea to pay the iron price. Cool. Um, Rakaro, our Castilian, our, and our regent has been appointed our regent. Cool. Agor Rivers has come to be a great companion. We've raided and pillaged together. We've slain many men in battle side by side and feasted together in celebration of a reaving well done. In the true spirit of the Iron God. Of the Drowned God. Iron God? Drowned God. Yes. Uh, we shall remember this time. I don't know why I said Iron God, but yes, we're, we are now friends of Agor. Cool. Cool. Mern Gardeners attempting to imprison people. How's Westeros doing? Oh, wait, Westeros over here. Uh, 
Egan Slim and Harren Holt is uh, Egan Slim on Westeros is winning. The Blood Feud is winning, and the Slave Raid is neutral. Cool. We're not really a part of that, but it's interesting to just keep a note of. Uh, also, is he special interest? He is not special interest. We'll just quickly mark him a special interest, so we know what's up. Ironborn longships cut through the water, swift and sure. Hence, we have successfully pursued a small merchant fleet. If we were to attack and pay our iron price for the cargo, we could gain much and more. Uh, let's go for it. Attack. We're at rest after a day of much pillage and raping, where I show that I am clearly the most daring of the Ironborn who can kill, plunder, and drink the most. Justin Benson disagrees, however, and challenges me to a finger dance to prove my manliness. Well, of course I accept. Yeah. Um, I took up Justin Benson's challenge, and he must surely regret it. The axes flew back and forth whilst I moved with grace and conviction, catching and dodging every blade that flew my way. It all got too much for gent uh, for Justin. He had panicked, looked throughout, and eventually submitted for fear of losing a few fingers. Uh, there's a chance that we become wounded or maimed, and presumably a similar chance for him. He did not become wounded or maimed, and we did not either. Uh, the fleet was fairly well defended. We lost a few men seizing their ships as well as taking damage to our longships. But in the end, no one can resist the Ironborn Reavers and much cargo as well as captives were taken. A price well paid. Fantastic. Great. We did well. Let's keep going. That was a good start to the uh, reaving. Very good start. We were being released from dungeons. Oh, we got our claim on uh, Yon the Spider. Uh, we'll, we'll use our claim. Yeah, sure. Doesn't cost us too much. Gives us a claim on the person right next to us. He has significantly more troops than us right now. Uh, we could also get some claims on like some other islands that aren't actually under anyone's control. Well, those are under the Stormlands. Ugh. How about you? Black Tide? Yeah, we, we'll send our guy off to um, like positions. Go fabricate claims on Black Tide. It's a little bit further away, but we can just be trying to get the islands as we are, you know, as they come about. A scout has spotted a... a let's try it again. A scout has spied a, a coastal fishing village, and he says there is much plunder and many women to be found there. Let them even begin. The fight was hard fought, and a few of our men were lost, but none can withstand the might of the Ironborn. We have claimed our iron price today, winning our plunder from these weak people. Fantastic. More prestige, more piety, more money. Everything is uh, going Dale's way. Yes, there are no problems around this place. Uh, all right. I was like, who's Torwald? Good brother. Yeah, he's head of Westeros. Uh, Lord Robor of Runestone accepted King Jonas the Reluctant's peace offer, so he won. King Jonas the Reluctant has usurped the Lordship of Sunrise Keep. Yeah, so he's just taking the Lordships from the people who he's just at war with. Mountain and Vale are all back together again, pretty much. Vakar the Ex... Uh, the exile has been banished again from uh, Lord Reaver Arnold the Old's land this time, and now he's in um, Quentin Corhe's land. Your friend Agor sent you a gift. It is a small puppy, but of the finest pedigree and destined to grow into a great hum uh, hunting beast. Well, of course we'll accept it. Yeah, uh, this is good. And we will call it a uh, hunter. Cool. We'll see how little Hunter does. Um, just just gonna also save again, I guess. Peasants revolt for Dunsbridge. How is the Westeros War doing? Westeros War is definitely in favor of Quentin, so it looks like Aegon might get back in charge again. Lauren might win his blood feud first, though, uh, and the slave raid is at zero. After a hard day's reaving, the men are all having a strong drink after rest at anchor. Another reaver is bragging of the many men he killed this day and how he is the boldest of the Ironborn here. My companions think I should challenge him to a finger dance to prove otherwise. I am the boldest. I challenge Ethan. Despite all his bravado, Ethan has proven himself craven. He backed down from your challenge to a finger dance. Oh, so he didn't actually get craven. Okay, he's just proven himself craven. Okay, fine. Fine. More people being exiled from different lands as wars end, wars start. I am amazed at how much better this mod runs than some of the other ones I've been playing recently. This is actually... I thought it was all in my head, but I, just switching from one mod to another, I'm just like, oh, this it does actually just run significantly better. Ironborn longships cut through the water swift and sure, hence we have successfully pursued a small merchant fleet. If we were to attack and pay our iron price for the cargo, we would gain much and more. Well, attack. Lords of Pike change taxes. 
But yeah, as I was saying, it's like... Mm, I mean, the other mod doesn't crash. That is a positive, so... It's like, you can have crashing or you can have slow. You can't have both. That's the wrong way around, but anyway, it's fine. The fleet was fairly well defended. We lost a few men sieging their ships as well as taking some damage to our longships, but in the end, no one can resist our armborne reavers. Much cargo as well as captures were taken. A price well paid. Lots of prestige, piety, and gold. Hmm. The drowned gods have mercy. Our longships have encountered a great kraken, which threatens to pull them down. What? What is this? Krakens were thought to be a mis myth from the Age of Heroes, but they're a very real menace for us now. Excuse me? 50% chance we get devoured by a Kraken? Excuse me? Ironborn to arms. Victory for the Ironborn. We beat it. The Kraken was fierce, but not as fierce as the Reavers. The Kraken was ultimately slain. Our ships are saved and we won what's fame and renown this day. Cat's been maimed or wounded. Um, We didn't become maimed or wounded. We just killed a Kraken. Fantastic. We are... This Reaving is an exciting tale. Okay. Harmon Horror called in a favor. Your dog has grown quickly. It's no longer a little puppy. He runs fast, has a keen nose, and your dog handler's praise is good character. Good dog. Now, you do actually get a event called Bad Dog, where your dog can go murder people. That's fine. Excuse me? Uh, this Kraken of mystery, of, um, you know, of myth and legend, we have found another one. Well, Ironborn to arms. The Kraken was too mighty, too strong. It broke asunder our longships and pulled many an Ironborn down to the drowned god's watery halls. 50% chance we die. Okay. We're alive. Okay. During the attack, Agar Rivers was wounded by an enemy fighter, but like a true Ironborn, he has chosen to stay for a band of Reavers. He is maimed. During the attack, Justin Benson was wounded by an enemy fighter, but like a true Ironborn, he has chosen to stay with a band of Reavers. He is maimed. During the attack, Ethan was wounded by an enemy fighter, but he's chosen uh, like a true Ironborn, he's chosen to stay with a band of Reavers. He is also maimed. And we are also maimed. And we're still fit to pillage. We'll keep going. Yes, we're all maimed now. Wow. That's not good. That's really not good at all. Lauren Lannister is now known as the Eagle. Oh, his wife was executed by Lauren. Interesting. The reaving has come to an end. We have, we have returned from across the sea after abiding the old ways of reaving and pillaging like true Ironborn. We have gained much respect for our daring and ambition. We are true Ironborn. The reaving party has been roving the coast, but a local patrol has spotted us and is attacking. Being Ironborn, we, are f we shall, of course, meet their challenge. But the leader of the band stands before me. We have but one thought, oh, but one thought to kill me. Um, Let's try it. Okay, um... A duel will ensue. Your grievous injury is clearly hampering you as you assume the position to duel Thoros. Thoros is only a trained fighter and has nothing else. We are a skilled fighter and brave, but we are maimed, which is also a huge negative. So we're probably about equal. Hmm. What are we going to go for? Do we go for... Quick might or my injury will not halt my strike. My injury will not halt my Let's try this bottom one here. Your experience in combat and prowess of your weapon allows you to spot an opening in Thoris's defense. It's not much, but it's all you need. You easily break through his guard, knock him to the ground. He lies spelled at your feet completely at mercy. You strike, but he rolls to the side. Wounded, but very much alive. He rises to his feet and readies the weapon once more. Why won't you die? Well, we can try it again. This time we'll aim for his wound. He slips up, leaves a... Oh, we leave an opening. He strikes, tries to take advantage. His onslaught is unstoppable. You slip only once, but once is all he needs. Ah, we're dead. He's victorious. Maeus is no longer captain of the fleet. Justin is no longer treasurer. Maester is no longer maester. Ethan's drowned... Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Lord Dale has ascended to heaven at age 17. He was slain by Thoris Adrella in personal combat. Long live... Lady Brella. So be it. Oh, don't worry. Justin's friends with Dale. It's perfect. Uh, best in, blessings upon your house. I've been appointed as your regent. So, Agor has been appointed as a regent. And I assume he would just take our uh, education. Um, right here. He would just say, no, I'm going to educate you. There we go. Your brother Dale Serpent. 
tale has died. It now falls upon you to decide whether to make the funeral a big and special event or to keep it a small and private one. Um, we'll have a small and private event. Okay, we're Lady Brella. This is, um, this is interesting. Uh, a uh, couple of people by, uh, died stillborn. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, no, he died because he was just created out of nowhere to be Leos' father. Um, and Alex did the same for Malus. Okay. Interesting. We'll keep going. I suppose we want to be betrothed in a minute. Oh, we also need to choose new people for all of this. Our captain of the fleet is, as always, going to be James. Wait. James, who's underneath us here? Oh, it's Manfred. Oh, James died. Oh, when did he die? Oh, he died 12 years ago. Oh. He was our captain of the fleet. I completely... Maybe it was Malus? Is this the point to pick new people? Spy is going to continue to be Agor because... Uh, Wait, why can't our spy master be Agor? Is he dead? He's here. He's our guardian. Why can't he be my spy master, Agor? Okay, interesting. Castilian. We're gonna make that. Uh, well, this guy wants to be treasurer. You can be treasurer. Dinald, you're treasurer. Go collect taxes. Um, Castilian will make Justin. Yeah. Our, our other architect. And he can go and oversee provinces. Just a car. Ricaro is not ridiculous because Ricaro is like a family friend. You know, we'll put him in charge. He can go fabricate claims over there. Actually, I should probably should have got him improving relations. Doesn't matter. Captain of the fleet. Um, Malus, I think, was captain of the fleet and will continue to be captain of the fleet. Spymaster. I guess we'll make that... A uh, Shiril? Yeah, she doesn't like us, but... Actually, we'll make it Meredith, just so it's one of our, um... Like, one of our people. Like, uh, one of our custom people. And she can scheme. Our maester will, of course, be our maester. They all don't like me at all. I mean, come on, maester. Foreign religion, really? Drowned man is gonna be Ethan. Right, Ethan can perform charity. Um... You can collect taxes. And you can train the children. Lisa's council is always discontent. We have some zealous people. So we have Malus who's zealous. Good, he's zealous towards us. Healer is zealous. He's our maester and he's zealous towards the um, towards Faith the Seven. And we have our priest who's zealous towards the Grand God. A couple of glory hounds, a couple of pragmatists. Cool. Could be worse. It could be worse. Okay. Interesting. Also, save gonna continue. Um, when's our birthday? Twelfth of March. Okay. Well, this seems like a good point to end the episode. Thank you for watching. Next time we can, uh, well, we can see what we're gonna do then. Uh, thank you for watching. See you then. Goodbye.